Yes, I believe that the foundation of the modern corporation, indeed of contemporary capitalism, is fusing high performance uh, with high integrity. Let me explain what that is first. Um, high integrity involves three things. The robust adherence to the spirit and letter of the formal rules, legal and financial. The adoption of global ethical standards beyond what the law requires that bind the company and its employees. And the values which all employees should embody of candor, on, uh, honesty, fairness, trustworthiness, and reliability. You cannot have a good culture without those values, but you cannot have those values without ethics and law. So you must fuse the high performance that every company looks to, whether it's stock price or productivity or great new products. You must do that the right way. You must do it with high integrity. That is the goal of the companies. And the really critical question is how do we do that? Uh, that basically the, uh, there is enormous value in fusing high performance with high integrity. There are two kinds of benefits. First, there is the avoidance of catastrophic cost. And we have seen in the many recent scandals in the, since the turn of the century, in the, in the 21st century, whether it's bribery or environmental problems or others, that the cost to the company of having an integrity miss is now catastrophic. It's not minuscule, it's catastrophic, and we only have to look at BP, where the bill is about $100 billion between uh, loss in market capitalization and the kinds of monies that they're going to have to pay for fines and environmental remediation. So one reason you want to do this, and what I would say to managers, is to avoid catastrophic costs. But the other side are the affirmative benefits, not just the negative risk avoidance kinds of benefits, but the positive benefits inside the company in the marketplace and in global society. Um, that you fundamentally want a highly motivated workforce. And I believe that you will have a backbiting and turf fighting organization unless you have those values of honesty, candor, fairness, reliability, and trustworthiness, both for all internal relationships and all external relationships. And you cannot have those kinds of uh, values and relationships unless, as I said, you have adherence to law and the right kind of ethics. Well, I've written a book called High Performance with High Integrity, um, which talks about six or seven things. But among the most important things that they can do is basically give the resources and the command to the business leaders, not to the legal staff, not to the finance staff, but to the business leaders to basically create integrity in their business processes. Don't have the external sort of staffs and headquarters be responsible. Have the business leaders be responsible and have them embedded in their business processes. We also must not pay just for performance. We must pay for integrity. And we can measure integrity. We also need to basically give employees voice. Uh, that all the scandals and problems that have occurred have been due to a culture of silence among employees. Employees know what's going on. So we have to empower employees to come forward without fear that they're going to suffer retaliation or without fear that what they say will not be taken seriously. So these are some of the steps uh, that business leaders can take to create a culture of high performance with high integrity that is so vital in my view.